What's going on everybody? So today I hope to bring you a video of opening packs of 94 Upper Deck Collector's Choice Series 1, Series 2. I bought these online at a website, like, a, like an online garage sale, similar like a Craigslist, but people ship things to you. Somebody had posted these two boxes. He actually had a lot of boxes and I bought these two thinking I could open the packs. And here's what I got. Get home today, open the mail, thinking I'm going to have boxes to open tonight. And yes, I did. But as you can see, what I got was a box full of already open cards. So to my surprise, there are no packs in here. These are purely cards, loose cards. So I'm going to make a prediction that in these cards... There is absolutely nothing good. Maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe it was in somebody's attic, their son, whatever. But let's take a look and see what we get from these cards. Not expecting a lot. Very disappointed. And obviously, I'm going to try to get my money back through PayPal. Let's take a look. So starting off, we'll go ahead and start with the Series 194. See what's in here. Man, I'm a sucker. I assume that there was no pictures of the box on the inside, had wrapping around it. I assumed it was sealed. Man, I'm a sucker. So George Brett, Hall of Famer. There's a Griffey Jr. So I guess the person has um, not taken out all the good cards. Now these are collector's choice. They're kind of not the most wonderful cards on earth, um, but they're not bad. Just thought it'd be fun to open some old packs here and see what we had. The condition is okay. There's a Tim Salmon, Tony Gwynn, so Alex Gonzalez, rookie class. Don Mattingly, Hall of Famer. Whoops. Luis Ortiz, Billy Wagner uh, draft pick. That's a good one. So I'm slightly relieved that at least it doesn't appear that they were completely picked over in Earl Hershiser. Eric Karros, Wayne Gomes, rookie. So perhaps I was accurate in thinking that at least, Nolan Ryan, that at least they are his Kids are Todd Van Poppel. There's a bust. Maybe someone in someone's garage or something. Brooks Kieschnick. Does he have a gold tooth? Maybe not. The cards stick together quite a bit. Obviously, it's not quite as fun as opening packs, but we'll see what's in here. Miguel Jimenez, John Cruck, cards have an odd, almost chalky feel to the back. Jeff Granger, Solomon Torres, Mo Vaughn. There's a there's a guy you don't hear much from anymore. Remember that when he signed with the Angels, first game in, falls into the. Uh, Posing dugout, hurts his ankle and never really was the same since. There's a Manny Ramirez rookie. That's nice. Berto Alomar. Cal Ripken Jr. talking on his cell phone back before cell phones were an actual thing. It was a satellite phone. Back before Drake was calling on his cell phone, Cal Ripken Jr., Butch Husky rookie. I do remember these cards. Raul Mondesi, great arm. Cliff Floyd rookie, Sean Green rookie. So I'm certain that none of these book for much, but fun to have them. I really liked Sean Green, sweet swing as a Dodger fan. 
met him once. He he lives down here. He's from Orange County, and he used to do signings at his his dad owned a batting cage. I believe it was his dad. And he'd come and do signings there, so it was nice. He would host signings, batting practice for kids, those types of things. Really fun. So when I was younger, I went there as well. So Randy Johnson performers I saw that one earlier. Daryl Kyle passed away. Greg Maddox, it's a cool looking picture, doing apparently the shuffle. I don't know exactly, there's no ball in the picture, that's unique. Cecil Fielder, it's another Brooks Kieschnick. There is a top performers, wins leaders with uh, John Briquette, Tom Glavin, and Black Jack McDowell. Scott Erickson. Events like. Here's a Carlos Delgado rookie. It's a name from the past. Matt Drews. Luis Gonzalez. Randy Myers, one of the nasty boys, the original nasty boys. Ricky Henderson is a Blue Jay. Jeff Granger, move on. The checklist, Kirby Puckett. Kirk Presley, rookie. Roger McDowell. So as a Dodger, Roger was a, a famous prankster, and if you went to a lot of Dodger games, he'd pull a lot of pranks in the bullpen. So you can see he's got some Nerf guns in his, uh, in his holster, or his waistline, taking a picture before digital cameras existed. Disposable cameras. Nolan Ryan checklist. It's a Cliff Floyd rookie. Pedro A. Martinez. Look, glanced at that and was thinking he's throwing with the wrong hand. Mike Piazza checklist and a Rich Becker rookie. So nothing, and mind you, there's not a ton in this set that is valuable. Um, Larry Walker, that's a cool photo. Trot Nixon. Mickey Morandini. It's a great name. It's the Tuki Tassan of yesteryear. Steve Soderstrom, Wayne Gomes. Greg Jeffries. Brian Jordan. Midray Cummings. Flash Gordon. Ryan Klesko was all... Uh, the Rage is a rookie for the Braves for a little bit back in early 90s. With Bobby Bonilla. Bobby Bonilla, there's a Barry Bonds. That was just before his head got really big from all the PEDs. Doesn't even really look like him before he had it hair. It's before he started shaving his head, so he looks a little bit different. Um, Omar Vizquel with the Steve Jobs style outfit, turtleneck, going up through apparently his chin. That's quite the turtleneck. Before the invention of dry fit, Jose Rijo with some fancy sunglasses. It's another King Griffey Jr. Let's say Bobby Bonilla before I got distracted. Can't remember. I think it was he was one of the first people that had with the Mets a really backloaded contract, and so essentially they had or are continue. But I think it might have just been, they paid him for like fifteen years in 
contract money after he retired, which I just think is entertaining with backloaded contracts and tends to be a bad idea. Ramon Martinez, Pedro's brother, was a rookie of the year, I believe. Oh, they're sticking together pretty bad. Larry Walker. And Mike Piazza, top performer. Piazza used to have a giant glove. And another Billy Wagner. Manager of the Anaheim Angels, Brad Osmus, during his playing days in San Diego. Scott Staviak, Carlos Delgado, Tino Martinez, Ken Caminiti, who passed away. Jose Offerman. Uh, Jose Offerman, I believe, took a bat out with him at some point. Um, when he got in a brawl. He was a terrible fielder too when he was with the Dodgers. I remember as a kid just cringing every time the ball got hit to him. Let's see if it says anything about it on the back. Yeah, not much information in terms of defense, but I remember him being really bad. It's like the modern day Steve Sachs. Anytime a ball came near him, he'd just cringe. Dante Bichette, former major leaguer and dad of Bo Bichette, prospect. Johnny Ruffin. Barry Bonds checklist. I guess I don't need to save the checklists. Andy Alomar Jr. Brian Anderson, not the modern day Brian Anderson, the old school left-hander Brian Anderson. Delino De Shields as a expo before they traded him to the Dodgers and he became horrific. Albert Bell, don't call me Joey. A couple more cards left in here. Big Cat, Andres Galarraga. Flash, Gordon. There's a Chipper Jones. I think that's his third year card. Second year card. Another Chipper Jones. So for the most part, it, at least I can say that it's it wasn't opening packs, and that disappoints me, and I don't think... The seller was super honest about this because he didn't show the inside of them. But I don't think, based on this checklist, that he took anything out. Because we got a Chipper Jones, a couple of Chipper Jones, Delgado, Billy Wagner rookie, a couple of those. A couple of Ken Griffey Juniors, a Barry Bonds before he started shaving his head. So, Nolan Ryan. So overall disappointed because I wanted the experience of opening the packs. Uh, I didn't have some of these cards. So go ahead if you can, like and subscribe. Next round, next video tomorrow, we will open up the series two of this. 2000, shall I say, 94 Collector's Choice Series Two Upper Deck. So let's talk about baseball. Tell me what kind of hits you've got. Tell me if you've ever been ripped off by an online seller. All right, let's talk soon and keep collecting.